Hey everybody, Josh Jr. here for yet another rock counting adventure. This time we have Rock Mail. Sit back down and shut your trap. It's time for mail call. And this one came from Sherman County Rocks. I hope you can see that. It's kind of washed out due to the, the rare occasion of the sunshine being here. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. I know. I think I know what's in here. Ah, uh, see what that says? China Hollow. I have some China Hollow Jasper slabs to work. That is interesting. There's one more in there. Very cool. So we have another one in here. Oh, look at that. Got some fractures in it, but I can work around them like I always do. I always work around the fractures. I like that. That is incredible. Look what the, the healed fracture where it slipped and healed. That is neat. Got another one in here. Oh, look at the colors in that. Very nice. And we got one more in here. We got something in this one here. That is almost looks like that's petrified wood. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I don't think this stuff is from China Hall. I think this is just other stuff that he might have had that he wants me to work. Oh my. Oh my. I see something very special here. Oh, wow. The problem is, it's an end cut. But I have worked a few end cut pieces into cabs. This, if my memory serves me correct, is Biggs Blue. There's a section up here I can definitely work with. This right here at the end is difficult to work with where that brown is at. Down here at the bottom, I might be able to get something out of that. Wow. <clears throat> this end piece here where this best part is right here, it's too thin. But I will see what I can do with that. Oh my. Then. Oh geez. That's China Hollow. Beautiful. There is a lot of good material in there.
another small piece. The ideas on what I can do. Look at the dendrites there around that crack. I can definitely work with that. Let's look at this other side. Nice. Okay, got it out. Look at the pattern in this. More dendrites. Let's look at the other side here. Incredible. And then one more down here. Yep, I can do something. Now I've got other... Very good. I've got other projects in the works, but I will definitely be putting this stuff on the priorities. God, look at that thing. Wow. And these... Couple of little, that's a jasper in the petrified wood. So that's stuff that he must have just had on hand and just included. If I can work around the cracks well enough on this one, I see all kinds of potential here. I see three, four cabochons that can be made out of this one piece with ease. And the same thing again with the cracks on this one. I see lots of potential here. I know what I'm going to do with this one with it being thinner. I already have a plan for it. And look at that. That one's a thicker piece, so that one might result in a few, a couple larger cabochons since it's uh, a lot thicker. That's about nine millimeters thick. And then these two here. this one and all of these here are off basically off of the same slab it looks like this one here could be a different one yep this is a diff looks like it was a different slab or off a different rock now this one's thinner and it is wedge shape cut you see that so that one's going to be more of a challenge and unfortunately this area down here is where it's really thin at It is d difficult to deal with slabs that are wedge shape. 
where the area there on the left is thicker than the area here on the right. I got the same thing on this one too. Let me do this here. It is thicker on the left than it is on the right. But that one there is not too bad. I could definitely do some work on that. Let's look at these other, these are the others, other two here. And that one's an even cut. And I know that one was. I could tell by the feel of it. So I'm going to reach out to Jay and have him instruct me on the projects that he wants done. So I probably won't show you the process of making these cabochons, but I will probably show you some of the results that I get off of them. And it's going to be a while. I mean, I've got some pretty significant projects coming up and family commitments coming up this year or this summer. Um, in a future video I can talk to you more about one of them. But right now we don't have enough information. But I have got rock counting trips planned. We've got a camping vacation trip planned to meet up with other YouTubers away from the rock counting genre. Uh, we've got rock counting, another rock counting trip. we got one scheduled for uh, late summer, early fall, and plus all the uh, family stuff thrown in the middle, and as well as the day trips that we want to take. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I've rambled on enough. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, admiring this material sent to me from Jay from Sherman County Rocks. This is The Adventures of Josh Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!